Hi, today we will learn how to design a tension one bar and also we will check on Stat Pro how the result will be produced and what are the design commands we have to apply in Stat Pro. So, first of all, tensile member. So, tensile member is one which is having a axial tensile forces, the, the force which tries to pull the members apart. So, example, rafter and the stake um, cables and so many you can find like sag rod which we provide to uh, break purling member so these are all a few uh, uh, tensile members which we come across generally so uh, now i will do a comparison between manual calculation and uh, uh, stat pro result how it will produce okay first we will learn basics so this is the equation uh, which we use for to calculate the yield strength of a uh, uh, tensile member. Okay, so AG is a gross section, FY is your yield strength and your partial safety factor. Okay, so that is available in table five of IS uh, eight hundred. So this is the one. So and table 5 you can see here partial safety factor so governed by yielding so that is 1.10 partial safety factor so and what other factor we need is ag so for now we will choose uh, one member so we will take uh, this member okay which as ax of uh, yeah, uh, 14.70. Okay, so T is equal to which is in uh, centimeter square, which will become 14.70 multiplied by 100 to convert it to uh, millimeter and if Y will consider. 250 temporary mm square and partial safety factor which is 1.10 so the tensile capacity of the member will become so the tensile capacity will become how much so a equals to 0.70 and again now we have to multiply by 100 to convert it to mm square okay and fy this 250 and partial safety factor, factor partial safety factor which is 1.10 so the tensile capacity of a member will become area multiplied by your fy and then divided by 1.10 So, which is Newton? Okay. So, I'll divide by thousand to convert into kilo newton. Okay. So, this is uh, Okay, so that is the one thing. So this is uh, done. Another parameter what we have to check is uh, slenderness. So which we have to check mainly for uh, tensile and uh, compression number. Okay. So for that we have to go back and check in uh, uh, table 3 
so here we have to see which one will applicable for our condition so our main member is a tensile member so so we have to check particularly for that so we'll go one by one so a member carrying a compressive load then KL by R ratio is 180 so tensile member in which the reversal of stress means uh, one time it will be tens ten tensile force another time it becomes a compression force so that time we have to consider the same uh, parameter consider compression when the compression load is higher then the effect of slenderness will be more so same 180 will be applicable the four KL by R value and so these are all for uh, combination of earthquake and wind and uh, lateral torsional buckling and and the sixth one is member always under tension so we are considering this uh, criteria as of now so our KL by R ratio should be uh, 400 okay so now we will check so this value is uh, 3, 3, 3, 4 kilonewton approximately. Okay. Now we will check for KL by R ratio. Should be of less than 400. Only when the on all the force are in uh, tensile nature so here the k value depends on uh, how the connection parameters let's say you have a beam and you have a gusset plate here and which is getting connected to beam or whatever it is column so then effective length will be from here to here till the next column so we are not considering the gusset length excluding that so the effective member length will become till here okay so you can refer code for k value and you can find out based on the end condition as well for now we will consider uh, k equals one and length uh, we'll consider uh, 5000 mm and radius of gyration i am taking this section uh, tube 18 and 18 by 4.5 which has a radius of gyration of uh, like we have to take a minimum value so which is uh, uh, 3.4 centimeter means 34 mm 34. 34.1 34.2 one so we'll do this uh, calculation we'll do slenderness check check so k l and r so k we are taking one l we are taking five thousand and r is thirty four point 30, 34.2 I think 34.21 okay 0.21. so we'll find what is the KL but R value so K1 multiplied by our length then divided by radius of gyration so this is the slenderness limit so which is uh, less than 400 okay so for checking instead the load uh, which i'm applying on the it will be 10 kilonewton the tensile member 10 kilonewton so this condition is also satisfied so which is less than 10 kilonewton so our uh, load carrying capacity is much higher than uh, um, uh, capacity of the section so in both cases uh, this is good so if you see this ratio so you can see 0 0.3 and this ratio is uh, 
very less 0 0.0229 okay so now we will check or uh, we'll do the same uh, calculation step pro okay here I'll consider uh, a member geometry uh, given uh, like xx uh, uh, 0 and y direction minus 5 so total length will become 5 meter 5 meter and section is the tube 89.4.5 so in property you can see that you can assign select from section database and you can assign it and then support condition uh, I put it as a print support and loading so load here I just created only one load uh, that is dead, uh, dead load that is I have applied I have, I have neglected the uh, self of this okay and yeah next thing is design so we have to go to design steel design select uh, 2007 uh, limit state method so there you have to apply all the parameters what you have used in your manual calculation okay so if you see in your manual calculation you used parameter fy okay and then yeah this is it will be taken by the, uh, the start pro itself and the area it will be taken from the section so this thing we don't have to so for this only like you have to specify what is fy you're using and k you have to specify and exactly length of the member you have to specify let's say if if it is between two no, if it is only one single member then you don't have to define but when you have a frame structure that time you have to define lx ly uh, all the parameters which i will explain later and radius correction it will be taken from the section database so this you don't have to apply in design command for and then yeah stand. okay so design here you can see uh, applied code and then here uh, yield strength um, uh, almost like 250 or uh, kilonewton per meter square which I applied and k k y and k z I have considered one one l x l z and l y so I have considered this um, uh, 5000 uh, mm okay and track two this is for track two which prints a detailed complete report so which, you, which i will show you and i will explain it and then you have to put, use a command check code okay so this i'll take a snapshot so which i'll put it in the description so you can just uh, try of it and i will attach this tag model as well okay so these are all the commands so which should be same as how you're doing your in a manual calculation okay now okay so all the command is being applied all the metal properties uh, support conditions so we have to check all these items and then uh, you have to go here and uh, use the analysis command okay and then you run the analysis post processor utilities analysis output yeah here you can see uh, steel commands okay so design steel uh, design report so here you can see uh, what are the force applied so force applied along fx which is uh, uh, downward so that is uh, 10 kilonewton so which you can also see here design loading 10 kilonewton which is acting downward okay and then yeah okay so now you can see here all the properties of the member of the section so ax 14.7 uh, centimeter square so this is uh, this is very important for us radius of gyration that is 34 3.4 centimeter means 34.21 uh, mm so now you can see here slenderness check which is doing so actual length is 5 then parameters it multiplied with kl so you can see here uh, lz and ly kz and ky so actual it is coming as 146.17 that is kl by r so here you can see 146.151 
uh, same thing what we are getting in the so allowable is uh, um, 400 as per the code oh, we saw it is uh, 400 here you can see okay and it's about section classification so it's fine and ratio you can see this ratio for like slenderness what is checked it is 0 0.030 it is same 0 0.030 so, oh no sorry this is this like the minimum one for the design check 0 0.03 and then we'll now we'll check for the design so it checks for all the things compression shear bending if there's any forces okay so now we since we have provided only a tensile force we'll see this parameter here so your uh, instance strength is uh, 250 okay if you use 420 and then yeah design force is 10 capacity is 334.087 so we'll see how much we got 332.07 okay 089 so we are also getting the same value as per section 6.2 so section 6.2 is IS 800, section 6.2. So you should know all the important classes in the code book. 6.2, this is the equation what Stad has used. Design forces, okay. Yeah, similarly you can do for the rupture, okay. So 395, so critical among uh, them is 334 so which go on the design yeah rupture we can see yeah this is the equation for rupture Yeah, so rupture, we'll do this uh, calculation well. So 0 0.9 multiplied by AN. So AN is the gross section, that is 14.70. Since there is no reduction in, uh, there is no hole or anything. Okay, so if there is any, uh, any uh, cut or anything is there then we have to deduct that for uh, uh, net effective member force so 14.70 into 100 to convert into mm and if you use your 420 and uh, m1 so that is yeah that is 1.125 government ultimate stress okay this 1.25 1.25 okay so we'll use this values here this is for yield and then we'll do for rupture here okay rupture okay so we have a uh, that is same as here we'll copy from here okay and then okay i'll just okay yeah fy so instead of fy we have fu this ultimate uh, strength that comes around 420 okay and then uh, what are the parameters and then uh, partial set factor for ultimately that is gamma m1 so i'll just consider this partial m1 okay that is 1.25 to 5 so we'll put that equation t
TDM. Okay. Okay, this is the capacity. Okay, so that is 0.9 multiplied by net area and then FU and then divided by your factor safety factor, so which is coming around uh, 44, getting 44. Okay, so divided by 1000 that is 444.528, but uh, instead, what we are getting is 395 because the alpha value what we are using is uh, 0.9 as per code but as per style we will it is 0.8 so which we have to change instead so instead of 0.9 if we make 0.8 then we are matching the value but yeah so this alpha value we'll go back and go to design steel here go to design parameters after yeah here alpha value for two volts four volt for three volts point eight six point three 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 okay so point three 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 okay for our condition so we just plain so we'll go as per the formula itself so if it is not default then you have to add this value until it is and then analysis output steel design yeah i think now the value should match yes so now you can see it is 4 uh, 444.52 so we are also getting the same thing so we have to compare between the yield and rupture so rupture uh, is always on higher side so yield is most of the time it gowns so the worst case will be our uh, yield okay so but our real strength which is already is greater than 10 kN what we are providing so the design should be safe okay since we have not have provided any compression load it just cal calculate what is the compression capacity and should it will calculate the shear capacity and it also it calculates the um uh, bending capacity okay and also combined interaction does so the total uh, then the output what we are getting is the section is pass okay with the stress ratio of 0 0.034 that is that is the uh, which is critical for our uh, yield uh, strength check hope uh, this is useful so next we'll uh, uh, study about the uh, compression force and we'll see how how it will work